our favorite dysfunctional family is back. I'm not even going front. Last night, I was sipping a little bit. So I may have missed some things, but for the most part, I remember everything that happened. Lucius still has amnesia. It's been five months after the explosion and the family has rallied around him and they're all trying to get him to remember who he was. But Lucius is nice now. He's like super, super fucking nice to the point where it don't even seem like him. Because you know Lucius is an evil bastard. But last night he was all loving and shit and he would be looking at Cookie like, I don't remember you. I wish I did. And Cookie's like, you gonna remember me? Cause you know she Cookie. And Jamal and Hakeem, they just, they're Jamal and Hakeem. And let's not forget, Andre was the one who wanted to kill Lucius in the first place. Then he had a change of heart at the end of the last season. He's like, I don't wanna kill my dad, no. But the plan had already been in motion because he was working with Shine. It's uh, Empire's 20th anniversary. They've been in business for 20 years, so they're all getting ready for this big show that's going to take place. Because it's always a fucking big show. These motherfuckers, all they do is fight, fuck, and party. That's all they do. Every fucking season, that's all they do. This is no different. So now Cookie's in charge. Because Lucius don't know what the fuck is going on. He don't know he Lucius lying. And he don't even answer to Lucius lying no more. Now he only answers to, to Dwight. Because you know his name is Dwight Walker. And um, Demi Moore is back. Why I don't know, but she there, and because see, this is my whole thing. For th three seasons, we've been waiting for Cookie and Lucius to get together, and then finally, at the end of last season, Lucius is like, "You my woman, I love you," and she like, "Lucius," and they finally together, and then this dumbass explosion come out of nowhere, and now we got Demi Moore, who looks like a discount version of the Baroness from GI Joe slinking around and shit like Dwight what's going on he don't remember you bitch he don't I can't wait till Cookie slapped the shit out of this girl so her name is Claudia on the show so she's Lucius's nurse or some shit I don't fuck know I don't like Claudia y'all I, I just I don't like anybody that tries to come in between Lucius and Cookie I, I just I, I can't have it and they got something going on it's like it's weird Cookie saw Claudia and Lucius sitting on the near the pool or the lake or whatever the fuck they were. Cookie ain't having this. She's like, look, bitch, I don't know what you think you're doing, but I will fuck you up. And Claudia is just like, oh, no. You see, what had happened was whenever people have amnesia, they start to fall for the person that's closest to them. And the reason why he don't want to remember you is because his memories are too ugly. Because they are some ugly, fucked up ass memories. And then at one point, Lucius is going through pictures with the family. <laughs> That's so fucked up. He's going through the pictures. He's like, well, I, I see all of my sons. Everyone's here. Jamal, Hakeem, Andre. Cookie, where are you? And she's like, oh, damn. Yeah, you know, a bitch was in prison for a while. He was like, oh, shit. Well, these some nice pictures. That was pretty fucked up. Like, <laughs> where the fuck are your pictures? They're on the wall. <laughs> In prison. <laughs> oh, God, it's so fucked up. We find out that Diane, played by the one and only Claire Huxtable, Felicia Rashad is still in the picture because she's still angry about all the shit that went down last season between Cookie and her son Angela. Because you know Cook Cookie was trying to play the role like she's going to be this respectable broad and then she just wasn't. And then Angela was like, you was a hood bitch. I knew you was hood. Fuck you. Then she had her goons kick his ass. Diane is back. She's seeking revenge and she's using her family to extract revenge. And one of the ways that she's doing this, she has a nephew. Nephew is... And you know, Jamal has an affinity for men. Jamal's a hoe. And I salute you. 
get it all while you can. Jamal is in this new relationship with this dude. His name is Warren. He's Diane's nephew. She specifically sent him over there to fuck with Jamal or to fuck Jamal just so she can start her plans for revenge and shit like that. Also, another thing that's going on is that you will remember that Diane was the one who had kidnapped baby Bella, Bonnie Bella. No, that's Jocelyn's daughter. Is her name Bella? The little lion baby. She kidnapped the baby and then gave the baby back. And I don't even really remember how their allegiance or how they started seeing each other. But for whatever reason, Hakeem and Diane have been meeting every Tuesday for however long, I guess during the, the course of the five months since Lucius has had amnesia and she's been taking pictures. So she don't, she's like, you won't keep, I think he was like, I don't want to have these meetings no more. And she's like, you're going to have these meetings or I'm going to show the pictures. And he was like, you got pictures. And she's like, obviously I got pictures, motherfucking Dre is running around town trying to get shine to calm down he like yo don't tell my dad that i was the one that tried to kill him like remember that's you know mm, our lips are sealed we're the go-go's fuck this and shine is like yeah, fuck you i'm gonna do what i want that's what's going on with the sons hakeem has been having secret meetings with diane jamal is still getting all the dick he can unfortunately this time it's uh it's sabotage dick but he doesn't know it yet, and that's gonna come up soon. Dre's still out of his fucking mind. That ain't never gonna change. Lucius has amnesia, and Cookie is all sad because she thought they was gonna be together finally, and she wants to do whatever she can, because you know Cookie's all about the family. The one thing I will say about the Lions, even though they are fucked up, they do love each other. Since Lucius has the amnesia, everybody is kind of rallying around and trying to get him to remember shit. They were having dinner one night, and they were sitting around, and Lucius was asking all of them about their lives. He asked uh, his sons about their lives. He asked Dre, like, well, do you have somebody special? He didn't ask Hakeem. I don't know why he didn't ask Hakeem. Cause probably because he knows Hakeem and Tiana are together. So he was like, you know, I know you got somebody special in your life. He, um asked Dre and he was like well Dre you got anybody and Dre was like I had a wife she died and Lucia was like oh I'm so sorry to hear that and I was like what you're what you're what and as you know Lucius and Jamal's relationship has been so fucked up since the time he threw him in the trash can when he was like eight years old their relationship was just fucked up so when Lucius was talking to Jamal He's like, and Jamal, do you have anyone special in your life? And Jamal was like, no, nah, you know, I'm seeing somebody. And uh, Lucia was like, well, is he nice to you or what's he like? <laughs> and Jamal was like, well, how do you know it's a he? And everybody was just like, really, Jamal, really? And Jamal was like, no, it's he, tee hee hee hee. And then Lucius said what we've all been waiting to hear from him for so many years. He was just like, love is love. and long as you're happy and he was just like so cool and then you like you kind of look at him like oh Lucius but then you remember the motherfucker got amnesia so it's not going to last it was just it was it was such a good scene because at some point Hakeem was like this is all bullshit this is bullshit so he, he was like he's like no I ain't none of this shit real this ain't who we are don't you know her so then Lucius broke a dish or some shit and he was like no I don't want to remember and then they cried and oh, lord it was mm, it was a good scene though it was a damn good scene because they all got to act oh god I promise it'll be better next week I just I gotta get it together they have the the 20th anniversary thing and they all sing Jamal gets up there with his bye bye black sheep ass voice and then Tiana when did Tiana learn how to sing and at some point I don't know maybe I was drunk but it sounded like she could really sing and I was like well when the fuck did she learn how to sing like damn Lee Daniels you paying for voice lessons commit to that shit 
I met to with Soraya. Soraya, however you say your name. And uh, King come out there. And I failed to mention that King got, like, the hair was, his like Odell Beckham kind of, Odell Light. But he rapped and I guess the song was good. The song was good. I did enjoy the song. I did. I was going to download it, but I can't remember how the song go. But it sounded good. I liked it. I can't remember if Cookie announced it or if Jamal was up there or somebody. They were like, and now everybody, the moment you've been waiting for, Lucia's lying. And he ain't come out at first. And then when the commercial, and I'm like, he going to come out. Of course he got, he got to come out. So then he came back out. And then he was like, to the Empire. And I was like, oh, shit. He was playing a role the whole time. But he wasn't really playing a role. He just did that because he knew he had to do that because he wanted everybody to feel at ease. And another thing that I feel I forgot to mention is that in the explosion, Lucius lost his leg. Lucius lost his leg in the explosion. So the explosion was real. And then amnesia is real. And it's fucking everything up because Cookie's all sad and she want to be with Lucius. And she's running around just trying to get her family she spends every season just trying to keep her family together and when she finally got the opportunity to be with Lucius um, this shit happened and now she got to deal with his amnesia and the sneaky ass white lady I don't trust her it's something about Claudia I don't trust her I know there's more there than meets the eye that's Transformers there's I don't trust the Baroness at all, and I need to find out exactly what it is that's going on with her, because I know there's something more than just her being a concerned nurse and shit. Something's going on. Something's seriously going on. I can't think of anything else that happened. Like, that was pretty much it.